Ms. Legalista here. Welcome to the video. I want to talk about Zoom bombers, people hacking Zoom meetings. We thought that maybe this had died down a little bit, and it turns out that it has not. And in this case, school children, students showing up at a city council meeting were the ones who got ah, the bad end of this stick. Elementary school students targeted with hateful language mm. while addressing Denver City Council. A so-called Zoom bomber disrupted last night's council meeting with just an ugly racist rant. Denver 7's Brandon Richard shows us how council tonight is responding. As an elected official, Denver City Councilwoman Chantel Lewis is used to getting hateful comments. I see it all the time on my social media accounts, if that's Twitter, if that's Facebook. But she never imagined children would become targets. That's what happened when two young girls addressed the council to ask for more classroom space. Here are some reasons why we need a new classroom. An unidentified person attending the meeting virtually interrupted. Yes. If you need space, go back to Africa. Nobody wants you here. Whoa. All you do is burn down and ruin yes, stuff. You little, no. you unmuted me again, you dumb boomer. Go that. ahead, protect the Protect the oh. Producer, can we remove them? I think initially I was just shocked, but then I think my maternal instinct kicked in and I thought, oh my gosh, I need to get over to those babies. In a statement, City Council President Jamie Torres said the words were vile, as was the character of a person who would actively seek to say these words, the two beautiful and courageous young girls. Oh, let me stop there. Oh my gosh. City Council, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Okay, so personally, I'll, I'll go ahead and put this out there. I've run for City Council before. And yes, when you put yourself out there for anything, even just social media, even being on YouTube, when you're out there in the public sphere, like be aware, not everyone is going to agree with you. They don't have to. There's no requirement for them to. Know that people are going to have thoughts and opinions on what you say, what you do, and even how you dress, look, and talk. All of those things come into play. However, it is different when you're talking about a public official who is an adult versus talking about someone who is hiding behind a screen and coming after young children, young children. Is this really what we want in our society? She said the council is working with the city's tech team to determine how this happened and how to prevent it from happening again. The Denver City Council isn't the only government body that's had to deal with anonymous people disrupting their proceedings and spewing hateful language. It's not even the only council that's had to deal with this in the metro. Council meetings in Wheat Ridge and Lakewood have also been disrupted by people going on hateful rants. I don't I don't think there's anything we can preemptively do, Brandon. We allow communities, community members to come and provide public comment. But council members agree children should never be targets of hate. It's disgusting. It is absolutely it's maddening. Brandon Richard, Denver 7. It is. And it, it makes you wonder what kind of person is behind the scenes that feels like the thing that they need to do is to go after children. Now, to me, it sounded like this person was a younger person. I, it just sounded like that in the voice. I could be entirely wrong. And the question then becomes, if you're already a younger person, why do you feel the need to you know, bully other younger people? We didn't get a chance to hear exactly what was said because it was bleeped out. You heard that it was bleeped out. So we could not hear it. I have read accounts of what was said and it was the go back to Africa and calling certain names, that sort of rant. That was what was said to school children, students who were just speaking before a city council. One of the things that I saw in one comment on another page that was talking about this was a person said, minors don't need to be speaking, it, participating in government. And I'm thinking minors who don't participate in government and don't understand government grow up to be adults who don't participate and don't understand how government works. The idea is to have everyone involved. 
young and old and middle-aged. Everyone should be able to share their experiences about living in their community and when things need to change. I don't know why that was such a big deal. But in this case, this was absolutely uncalled for. Now, it, it I guess we'll wait and see what happens if they're able to determine who uh, actually did this and what's going to happen after that. As Brandon mentioned, disruptions certainly aren't new. City councils across the metro have been experiencing them. So for context, Lakewood City Council has changed how its public comment is conducted. The change came after multiple people called in virtually in February, spewing anti-Semitic and offensive comments. Now, callers are required to submit their comments beforehand. Other councils... And that's the thing. Okay. So one of the things we start to talk about then would be, what about my first amendment right? Don't I have a right to free speech to be able to come in and share my thoughts and opinions? Well, that right is not absolute. You don't get to just say any and everything. Think about defamation cases. In other words, you don't get to go in and just lie about other people. You don't get to go in and say things that might cause disruption or violence, inciting a riot. Like those things, no, you don't get to just say whatever it is you want. There are some limitations on free speech. The government has a right to be able to put certain rules and regulations in place when it feels like it meets the threshold of being able to do that. So no, you're not going to be able to just say whatever it is. So it stopped want. virtual public comment for fear of these hateful outbursts. Castle Rock voted to mandate people appear in person if they wish to speak in council meetings. That went into effect in March. See, so that's, you know, that's the the end product of some of this, right? Then they can just say, we're no longer going to even allow Zoom meetings and for people to have comments. You have to either submit them in writing or we're just not going to do online Zooms anymore for, for comments. You can watch, but you can't participate and that's it. I don't think that that's the way we really want to go. But in some cases, if it gets so bad, I can see a city council or a county commission, whoever saying, you know what, this just isn't working anymore. Let me know in the comments if you've been in any of these spaces where things have just gotten out of hand with people who have either hacked the system, Zoom bombed in and just caused major disruption or said things that have been just, yeah, we'll leave it at that. All right. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.